Five Steps to Defend Against an Employment Law Class Action and Private Attorneys General Act Claims in California. Being named as a defendant in a California class action or in a Private Attorney General's Act claim, we refer to those as PAGA claims, can be devastating for any size company, but especially for a growing company here in California. It's important for a company to take a few key actions right off the bat about learning that they're going to be involved in defending one of these claims. And with some good strategic advice, it can go a far way in minimizing the impact that these claims can have on the company. So first, the company should contact employment counsel. It's important to contact some counsel that has some experience in this area of the law. It's very nuanced here in California and there's particular defenses that may come into play with a very relatively short period of time after learning about one of these uh, class actions or PAGA cases. And word also starts to spread pretty quickly among the employees of the existence of this type of litigation in the company. So the company should talk to their lawyer about whether it needs to communicate with current and former employees and what that communication should look like. Um, it's important to do this early and have a consistent communication if there is some type of communication with current employees. It's important to work with your lawyer to make sure that the, the company is uh, saying things it should be saying at that point with the communication with the employees and former employees. Second, the company should also obtain the plaintiff's personnel file as soon as possible. The defense counsel is going to need to see if the plaintiff has an arbitration agreement and what that arbitration agreement looks like because that's likely going to be the first motion uh, the defendant would be filing in court if there is the existence of an arbitration agreement. Also, need to get uh, the plaintiff's personnel file as well as time records. The time records are going to be critical in what types of defenses and what potential violations the plaintiff possibly had or maybe if the plaintiff had zero violations, that could be a, a good defense for the uh, employer to put up uh, right off the bat. And also the plaintiff's personnel file will have evidence, hopefully evidence of performance issues or other issues that the employer may be able to use as a defense in the litigation. Third, the company should review allegations of the PAGA claim with counsel to see if any safe harbor provisions apply to the alleged allegations. Now, employers have a short period of time to cure some allegations under PAGA to potentially wipe those out of the lawsuit, and it's important to review that possibility with counsel right off the bat. There's a short period of time that employers can cure those, those alleged violations. Fourth, the employer should begin constructing a list of all employees that worked during the relevant statute of limitations. Now, the class action under California law typically can go back four years, the statute of limitations in a PAGA case typically can go back one year from the date the complaint was filed. Now the employer should start working with counsel to getting those employee lists and start talking with counsel to see if there needs to be any communication with those other employees to start gathering evidence to defend against the claims. Fifth and finally, the company needs to start gathering all handbooks and relevant policies that apply to the employees during the statute of limitations. Defense counsel will need to start reviewing those policies. It'll likely be a key defense in defending these types of claims under California law. So the attorneys here at Zoller Law Group routinely defend PAGA and class action claims here in California. If you have any questions, reach out to us on social or at our website at zollerlaw.com.